Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an ultra lightweight bunkhouse travel trailer from Jayco. This is a 2021 Jayco J Feather model 24BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the J Feather and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the World's Running Channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler that we review. And again, today I'm super excited to be taking a look at an ultra lightweight travel trailer from Jayco. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's going good. Today's our last uh, day here in Wixom. Yep. Where we're filming. So we're trying to knock out the rest of the Jayco's Winnebago stuff that's right here. Yep. Um, so for the next couple videos, you'll see that and then we'll be on to the next place. Perfect. And I'm really excited to take a look at this one. Super lightweight and nice. Bill. Exactly. Let's begin. All right. Model is Jayco J Feather 24BH. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 30 feet, two inches. The dry weight is 63.63. And will that hitch weight? 660 pounds. Always remember, you want to use weight distribution bars no matter what. Up front here, we have a nice power tongue jack. Guess it makes it easy to get on and off the uh, back of the truck. Propane tanks go here and batteries go there. Right up here, we have a molded fiberglass front cap. Love that feature. And a diamond plate rock guard there. And I love how Jayco makes it about Jayco. It's not the White Hawk or the J Feather or the J Flight. It's Jayco. I like that feature. Coming on down the side here, we do have the Furion prep side cameras right there. Look at this really big storage. Yeah, that's awesome. Very nice, big power on the outside. You can see where they put the Blackstone uh, grill. Really big oversized door held up by a magnet. We love that. And then right there, we do have manual stabilizing jacks. Coming on down the side here, we do have two entries into this travel trailer. One into the bedroom, one into the living area and a huge power awning with LED lights. Will, let's take a look at that one all the way out. All right. Great, nice power awning with LED lights. You can pinch it down one side or the other, and it's just really big, a nice big size and everything. Coming on down the side here, you got your LED light strip, your speakers for the sound system, water heater right here and then here's your potable water fill potable potable very nice it is prepped for a tv on the outside there and then look at these tires well they're the good years endurance i love those st205-75 r14 and you do have your dexter axles right there right over here we do have the more ride step above steps love those and then on right down here look at this nice outside kitchen we have a little uh, sink here, okay. We've seen this, a little bit of storage right there. Different, interesting. Our vision little refrigerator right there. Right over here we have a nice little uh, stove top or countertop right here. And then this right here, Will, psh, America. America. Hell yeah. And then this is going to be a place to hook up that Blackstone skillet top or whatever. Coming around the back. We do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier, love that. Prep for a few around backup camera. And we do have a door that we're gonna show you in just a few seconds, but first, I'm gonna go up on the roof and show you what's going on up there. Will, let's go up there and take a look. All right. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. Not a lot going on up here. It is prepped for solar. Right there is your digital antenna. And then right there, you can see that we do have the Furion air conditioning unit right there. Here we go now. Be careful. Here we go. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What do the RV salesman taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. And then. 
Finish up, look at this door. I love this. The bed flips up out of the way and you have D-rings. You know why that's good, Will? Tie stuff down. Bike racks, kayaks. Exactly. Doll crates, anything and everything. It is great to tie it down while you're in transit. For sure. Finishing up with the driver's side. 30 amp travel trailer, one AC unit on the roof right there, power outlets and everything. Right over here, this is where you dump your black and gray tank. Great spot, outdoor shower, city water connection, and a black tank flush right there. Very nice. And then finishing up, here's the other side, battery disconnect and everything. Well, well, the outside of the J-Flight looks great. J feather, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check it out. Okay. All right, we will start up front. We've got the bedroom up here. Then coming down, we got the kitchen area here, the living area right here, those bunks in the back, right next to the bathroom. Will. We starting up front? No, I want to start right here. Okay. With the bunk beds. Sounds so, good. Something a little interesting, if you guys saw, I've definitely seen bigger bunk beds that do the flip up. Still not bad, but just a little different. You do have the double over doubles really good size kind of they are kind of oversized bunk beds you yeah. got bigger kids or something like that ladder incorporated up here you got the window right there and at least the window right there and again netting for storage that is just such a nice feature over here in the living room area no carpet flush floor in an ultra ultra light that is amazing you have this very nice stacy stewart collection theater seats which you pull back and recline that is such a nice feature windows right here you have your balances in those manual shades what's real nice is right over here we got the end table great place to put your phone power and USB right there we got storage underneath there same on that other side it sure is yeah right great and then what's nice is directly across from the entertainment from the TV is the entertainment center Right over here, we got storage above there. Insignia TV sound system and everything. And then right over here, we do have storage underneath. And then what's real crazy is yeah. behind the entertainment center. Right there. Nice big storage right there. Pantry or use it for the kids stuff, whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. MSRP on this travel trailer here is <laughs> pretty pricey. Aluminum's getting expensive. Sure is. $41,511 MSRP. Sale price. Well, do you see a sale price there? I do not. Nope. We're not advertising sale price for current model years, but will. It doesn't matter because nobody's going to pay anywhere near the 40s. We're going to get everybody the absolute best deal in America by doing one of these three things. Will, tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you will see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That's going to take you to a member of my team, and they're going to get you the best price in America on this unit. If you're not ready to buy, not a problem. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself. We'll answer you within 24 to 48 hours, and we're going to help you get ready for the buying process. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, you have no intention of buying, not a problem. Click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, what's the one thing they'll always get? The best price in America. Bam, 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 bam. And if you decide to go into the store, make sure you bring your Matt Cash coupon with you to save money if you're not looking to buy from our internet team. Will, let's continue the video. All right, sounds good. So 
Jayco pretty much always does their farmhouse kitchen interior. So, of course, that's what they used here as well. We will start right here. Got some storage up top right there. Um, they did this like kind of backsplash all the way around. Okay. Um, well, what's it feel like? Uh, Is it hard? Yeah. It's or like hard. wallpaper? No, it's it's textured. Okay. Yep. And you got a faucet here, no spray thing, but good size double sink right there. Yep, yep. And then a little bit of storage right there. Very nice. And coming over here, you do have some more storage right there. Wow. A good window on your camping side, which yeah. is always nice, letting some fresh air. Certainly. You can see everything out going on out there. And of course, a that tower of power. Is a power of tower right there, my guy. That's right. Hey, that's really cool, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they did not use solid surface countertops in here. Don't expect that for a feather. Correct. And a couple drawers right there. Is it supposed to be as light as a feather, right? Light as a feather. <laughs> they did use a, uh, one of the smaller Furion microwaves. It's a Furion range hood right here. Hood range. Uh, with the light. And then a three burner Furion cooktop. Nice. With blue lights. Nice. Oven and drawer below. Nice. And that's it, right? No. Nope. Oh, with the, the fridge, yeah. Nice Furion, Furion compressor. compressor fridge right yeah. there. Yeah. And they did match the cabinets. I like the that. Doors. I like that. A little drawer right there. Perfect. It's now time for the tall test, Will. All right. Get on back down there. Mm. Mm -mm. Radius that, shower. Huh? Yeah. And it looks like a plastic toilet. It sure does. Man, come on. Come on now. There we go. Wow. So I can't pass the height either. Um, I must say I hate that. Yeah, and I it's weird getting in and everything. Okay. Yeah, I don't like this. It's not fat boy approved. It sure is not. I don't ask me to get back there because it ain't happening. <laughs> Or maybe I'll be able to get in there, but I won't be able to get out. All right. There. Nice little medicine cabinet right here. Here's your little sink. Okay. Storage underneath there. Plastic. I'm not get a good angle. You don't need a good angle, Will. This is not a prime poop position. It's uh, plastic. Wah, wah. It's okay. Finishing up with the master bedroom up here. I will say I like the big door. I will yes. say this is a smaller travel trailer. I feel like I still have plenty of space. I love that second door right there. For sure. And then up here on the bed, we got storage there. Yep. Storage there. Nice little nooks and crannies. We got that up there. USB power and everything. Really nice bed. And then here, we even got storage underneath, man. Yeah. Very nice, very nice features. And the beds are always comfortable on these Jayco's. Right. And a TV does go right there. Sure does. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the Jayco J Feather. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time to give you three things we love about the Jayco J Feather and three things we just dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Like. Like, you want to start yes. with likes today? Yes. Okay. First thing I absolutely love about this travel trailer, I love how there's no carpet in here. Yeah. J Cove went away from that. And here's the deal. When, when you're in the J Feather, the whole goal, the whole accomplishment of this trailer is to make it light. So they could have put carpet there and just said, well, we need that for that certain type of slide out system that might be lighter. Mm -hmm. But uh, they still managed to do this brand with no carpet in it. I think it looks fan freaking fantastic. Sure does. That's number one. Number two. Okay, for me, it's gonna be no slides on your camping side. I love oh. that. You have a nice big awning, nothing obstructing it. You can get the whole family out there, especially with the bunkhouse model. You know, you could easily have four, six people out there. You can sit there, sit around the table, and there's plenty of room. Well, let's combo that then, Will. Come okay. on outside. We're gonna combo that like with the camp kitchen. You know what I'm saying? For sure. It's a nice feature. I like the camp kitchen. And with the no slide outs on the side, makes it so you're able to get a big, huge awning. That's super awesome and nice. Sure is. So that's number two. And then number three, Will, I always, always, always love 
when they do this back door here. Oh uh, yeah, I do too. Just a great feature, very smart design, and I love that. Yep. Great, so that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't love about this travel trailer. You ready for me to go first? Sure. <laughs> to the competition, they're doing bigger doors. Yes. They're cutting the bed more in the middle. I will say, you know why they did that though? Why? I think to get that window in. You're right. You're yeah. Right. But we can't Which veto it now. Which would have been our, our we're, dislike. We're already, we're already in. We sure are. Because it would have been a dislike. It would have. So do we veto that? Let's veto that. No. No, no, let's veto Yeah, okay. Because no. I was going to say they could do a window over here. Yeah, let's veto that. Okay. okay. First dislike. Hate these sinks, y'all. Hate these sinks. I wish it was plumbed through. Or I wish it was at least had a hose to run it to somebody else's campsite, not my campsite. I don't want to be cooking and dumping right. water and stuff right there. Um, love the outside kitchen, hate that sink. Right. So that is number one. Well, number two. Okay. Dislike. I'm going inside the bathroom, just all around. It's a horrible it's just bathroom. It's awkward, it's weird. Not even going to mention again about the sh tall test but like even getting in that shower is, yeah, is it's unique just weird not a huge fan of that at all right i 100 percent concur okay so that's two see well you had to veto my dislike I'm sorry you make you made a great point though yeah that's why that's why i went with the veto okay. because you were right um so that's two and then number three he talks in the floor. Do we do that? Because at least there's no carpets. Right. Oh, well. See, this is why you don't veto it. Sorry. But the powers of veto, the rules of the veto is once vetoed, unable to unbe vetoed. <laughs> um, okay, so number three, and here's what I'm going to say, and this is a little unfair that I'm attacking the J Feather brand this way, but... Uh, this has been our first experience with Jayco's and we've loved it and I love Jayco. I've always have you guys know I like Integra guess who Integra is owned by Jayco, right? So I like their swag. I like their style. I like their feel. I like the farmhouse I hate how every Jayco we've been into from the North Point down to the J flight SLX has all had this uh, Modern farmhouse look and feel yeah. I like it, but I wish there was some brand separation or brand identity differentials between every brand. Exactly. But that's it, Will. That's a review. Thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this travel trailer, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell number. Or the best thing to do, always the best, is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you guys have any, uh, if you guys are in the market for a smaller travel trailer like this with bunks, in a few seconds, we're going to put the competition right there and there. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. This, I, I think this is a great floor plan, great size for uh, most families. So let us know down in the comments below. Let us know what you guys uh, think of this trailer. Let us know your likes and dislikes. Give us three likes and dislikes. Um, make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching. And we'll, we'll see you next time. time.